Cause you all Sunday. Here we are. Let's love it. Oh, no, no. Hello. Hi, Linda. Hello. Oh, I need to look on Facebook to see who Facebook user is. Oh, Karen, hello. Hi, Anisha. Do, 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 do. Are you talking, Leon? Because I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can see your face talking, but I can't hear you. I can see your face talking. <laughs> hi, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> I can see Leanne's face talking in the studio, but I cannot hear her. I don't know. Can you hear us? Hi, Vasis. Doopy, 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 do. What's going on then? It's all very quiet. Is it me who's very quiet? I don't think so. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Aha. Hi, Sue. Thank you. I don't know if you can hear me, but thank you. Oh, you can hear me. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so you've had me waffling on for five minutes. I think Leanne's just got to sort something out on her um, phone so that she can get her volume. Oh, I'm so glad you can hear me. <laughs> That's hysterical. Uh, maybe not for you, but it is for me. Um, never mind. We will we'll, we'll get it all sorted. Hello, 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 hello. Leon students, I can see I'm, because I'm in the um, I can see the backstage of the streaming studio, so I can see Leon's trying to do something with her phone, but I can't hear her. So hopefully she'll get that sorted out. Well, while she's doing that, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get on. So. As you know, casual Sundays, we have no idea what we're going to do beforehand. It's all done um, off the cuff. I'm just moving that light a little bit so it's not blinding you on the mat. Um, it's all off the cuff and we have no idea what we're going to make. We just, we just, it's a casual Sunday. What more can you say? So I'm going to grab something and run with it i think now i got a little box this week from from leanne um now this is quite a big thing but i think we can do it i think this i think it's all possible um and the box i got is this um mariner's jewel um mold by zuri so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with this, I think. Hello, can you hear me now? Oh yes, there she is. <laughs> <sighs> Enjoy your birthday meal. Hi Nuno, hi Linda. Um I heard Alicia, but I didn't hear the other one. Hi Sarah. Hi, Vasilis. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Sue. Oh, I missed you last week, Sue. I forgot we were. We, I did um, a Zoom stream instead. I forgot to tell everybody over on um, on YouTube. 
Sorry. Hi, Carol. Hi, Karen. Okay. Oh. I am good. Let's get some resin. Oh. Is it yeah. me gone a bit funny? Or... Oh, no, I wasn't sure if it's me or you then. Do you know how much resin I need for the Mariner's Jewel? No, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm going to make it up as I go along then. So, I'm sure I can Hi, Deb. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> Yes, I'm using a mould, and this is um, a Zuri mould called Mariner's Jewel. And I'm going to make this up, and I'm going to incorporate it into something. We'll find out what something um, now, because I'm just going. <laughs> it's casual Sunday, so I have no clue what I'm doing until I do it. Got me thinking now. Oh, you're using pretty things. Yeah, these are the article molds. Oh, I know. I'm still playing. I wonder why your uh, our uh, lives are so long. <laughs> Well, yeah, it takes us a little while to get going, doesn't it? But we'll get there. We'll get there. Get a bit of um, kitchen roll. It's just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? It's how it goes. It'll be all right. Right, so I've got it just over 60. And I can always make some more if I need to. Give it a little mix. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Yeah, Zuri molds are rather gorgeous, aren't they? Um, I've never used them up until a few months ago um, when I met Leanne. And she's a terrible, terrible influence. And um, she's been encouraging me with the Zuri molds. And she also introduced me to... Um, decoupage cream papers because I've never used those before either and they're becoming another addiction that I can thank Leanne for so she's a terrible woman <laughs> right. let's see how are we doing with this I'm gonna have to make some more I think but we'll be all right oh, you're very welcome I'm not sure who that is. Who's that? How do we do that? Hi, hey, Dominique. There's got to be a way of doing that. How to allow Facebook. Um, I think it's Facebook. Forward slash StreamYard. Um, that's what Google's for, isn't it? How to see. Yes, Google. Um, okay. Oh, look at that. I need just a tiny little smidge more. I reckon if I'd have been a little bit less generous with this I might have um, done it with 60 but I'm just going to make a tiny amount more just to finish that little piece off mm -hmm. I think it goes in me do -be -do -be -do -do -do. oh thank you for the top. thank you Oh, Carol, they're so addictive. I want them all. I want them all. I just saw um, uh, one 
oh, the other day on, I think it was yesterday, I was looking on Mad Archers and there's this, oh, it's a numbers one decoupage cream paper. And I just thought, oh my goodness, why don't I have that in my life? It's terrible, isn't it? We have so much stuff and we still find things that we want. There we go. That's fine. Let's put you in there. Is that right? Who oh, knows? Yeah? <clears throat> if you if you click that. I think um, we can see people's names then if they if they click the link. Oh right. You can see okay. their name then instead of them coming up as Facebook users. Oh okay. Well, maybe they might be on anonymity. I have to say well, that word. Okay that. as well. <laughs> anonymity. Right now, I'm going to have to move this, aren't I? Because mm, good luck with that word. Yeah. You're not going to move it, Rach. It's, it's just going to tip. You've got to keep it flat. Oh, I slide it. I'm going to slide it to the side. <laughs> I'm going to slide I it. Try that, will we? I don't know if anybody saw the the new um, Zuri moulds. I don't think I'll I'll have them in, but they are the oh, tiles. They're so beautiful. They are so beautiful. I would so, I need to get my hands on them. So I've painted this one with the Cadence paints and then Pentart wax and then I use the antique in paste. That one is just the Cadence paints on top of Gesso. So as you can see, it's white on the back. And then I used um, makeup sponge just to go over the top of the damask to get that to come out with. I think it was Finn's liquid acrylics. <clears throat> no, no, we've interrupted Nunu's no Wimbledon time too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Every time I think of Wimbledon, I always think of Nunu. <laughs> oh. Right, I need to get rid of some of these out of, out of there. Maybe I'll use that mushroom one. I don't know if I've got any more. And I think I might use the mushrooms I made in the class and make a little bit of a project. Oh, I've got to go back and watch that. Maybe use some of the flourishing. This is the trouble I make. I make so many ahead, and then I don't end up using them. Do you know, another thing that was in my pack from Jan were these um, Minte papers called Written Memories. Um, oh, I like that one. I'm going to use these with that. Um, with the old mariner's jewel. Arr. I feel like I need to say it like that. <laughs> Aha, me hearties. All right, let's have a look at these papers and see what we're going to use. Oh, I love these bits to fussy cut. They're so gorgeous. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very nice. Just oh, deciding, my... just oh, deciding cool. which ones I want to use while my do first drying. Oh, that's very lovely too. Oh, how beautiful is that? Right. Hmm. That's about the right size, I think. Yeah. 
that's uh, the one that I saw that I thought would be perfect. Oh, where are you? Where did you get? Oh, that's this is the one I want to use. I will be using other elements, but I want to start with this one. Um, I'm going to use um, a piece of grey board. So, because I like a piece of grey board. Hmm. Hi, John. Let's have a look. No. I might say. Oh, yeah, I'm because okay. I like these little bits on here as well. Mm. I can do both. I can do both. Right, let's get some adhesive on the go. Oh, Hi, Judith. Who's cleaning out the chicken coop? Ooh, not good in hot weather. <laughs> Hi, Judith. Oh, Moika. Moika, Moika. Right. I'm going to use... What glue am I going to use? I'm going to use mixed media glue. That's the one I'm going to use. Oh. Hi, Marsha. Oh, there we are. We um, have a little bit of stuff. I want this side open. So I'm just covering this in mixed media. Yeah. So everybody else like me, you don't throw anything out and got a load of rubbish. Oh, you can't throw anything out. You can't, it's rude. Even toy sticks. Put all onto it. So, there we go. This is my piece of grey board, 6 by 12. Um, I've just cut a 12 by 12 piece in half. And I'm going to use this. Oh, these are the string rules. Yeah. Nothing's jumping out at me anyway. Oh, hello. That's always handy. <laughs> this is a little bit more movable yes it is i can get it out of the way there we go and i can show you what i'm doing so i've stuck this one down and i'm going to get my knife and just trim Turn that down. There we go. And trim this end bit off as well. So that's the base. Let me get my little sanding block and give this a little, a little rub and tidy it up. They're all good, thanks, Jan. How are you? Which one is to use? need to mix them in a bit, don't we? Oh, I live in a black hole, honestly. I live in a black hole. That's 
Right, not sure what colours to use first. Are we all a bit fuzzy for everybody? That looks a bit slow for me. It's looking a bit slow for me as well. Oh, and it doesn't like me. No. Can I use you up? My edges. Right, yeah, so that's all. I think. I think I'm just going to paint them individually, make them look realistic, maybe. Well, you are the mushroom queen, Jan. You are the mushroom mm. queen. You're the mushroom queen. <laughs> so, oh, what's new in the shop then? What's new in the shop? Um, good question. <laughs> I've got some um, pent art coming in tomorrow. Oh. Um, so we're out to bond in primer, so that's in tomorrow. Um, good stuff. Sorry, that's good stuff. I'm not surprised you're out of it. Yeah, it's very handy. Uh, oh, look. I think it's because I'm so far ahead thinking of what we're going to get, you know, in the future. I forget what I bought in last week or this week. <laughs> so things are moving pretty quickly. Um, and it's thanks to you guys out there. I mean, you're, you're telling me what you want. I go and get it. You're buying it. And then i got to restock it. And <laughs> oh, it's happy, isn't it? It's a circle yeah. of life, that is. The circle of life. Absolutely. So, yeah. So it's um. Right. Very grateful to you all. <clears throat> right. And now I want to get stenciling on here. Now I think just. Mm -hmm. So, I have yeah. got a lot of the old Stamparia stuff. Um, that seems to be what people are asking for. It's the stuff that they can't get anymore. Or perhaps they've got a bit of a collection left and they want to use it up, but they need other bits to go with it. Mm -hmm. We've got quite a bit of that. Well... It never, it's always good, isn't it? The stamp area stuff is always good. It never, um, never goes out of fashion. No, indeed. Um, so on Decoupage Queen's side, we've got the Andy Skinner Rice Papers, a uh, collaboration with um, Decoupage Queen, which was so popular. I was sold out in about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, but they're so nice. Yeah, so we have plenty of those in now. <clears throat> um, what else? You can never judge how many people, you know, who will buy what at the end of the day. So you can only, you know, do what you do. But we are fully stocked. <laughs> Um, what else do we have? Oh, of course, we do have the Tim Holtz um, Distress Collection. Um, where are we? Uh, the Uncharted Mariner. 
So we have, let me go back. We have the oxide reinkers, the spray stain, the reinker oxide, sorry, the reinker, <clears throat> the oxide pad, uh, the oxide spray, the paint, the oxide pad, and the embossing powder. You got it all. We have it all. Uh, what else do we have? We have um, so some of um, uh, decoupage queen's papers that I didn't have in before. The red in fairy. Um, as soon as I put it up on the website, that was very quick to uh, diminish. Although we do have a couple left. Um, what else do we have? Like I said, the Andy Skinner papers. We have from the last time the pen, because I don't think we've done a live since, because I had the mushroom class last week. So we've got a uh, Pentar metallic paste magenta. I don't think I've got one up here to show you. And the rose gold. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, I also because the fine line crackle came in two fifty pots, and not everybody likes the bigger ones. I got the smaller ones in for people. We've got the patina effect and the rust effect that you showed us a few. Was it the week before last? Well, it's just brilliant stuff that is. Um, yeah, oh, like I said, lots of the old stampery uh, stuff. Um, and of course, the pre-orders for Stamperia, the Bauhaus, um, the oh, I can't remember what it's called. Not Destiny, um, Desire. I knew it began with D. Yeah. <laughs> Desire. We've also got. Um, the Vicky P um, journals in. Those who fancy doing a bit of art journaling. Mm. So I, I got them in. I know a lot of us do mixed media, but I got them in for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so nice. So I wanted some smaller ones, so I got them in. Well, we haven't got them in. I, I still haven't had a, um, a definitive release date when they come in. So, as soon as I know, you shall know. What else? But I did like the stencils of Vicky P's. Mm. They look really handy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, was it? The gel plates, the birdhouse, which I showed you. Was it the week before last or last week? I can't remember the week before last. And that's it. That's it. What do we have coming in? I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I really don't know where to start. Do we have coming in? Go on, tease us, tell us. Oh, what do I have? Can't quite think. Oh, thanks, so. Yeah, I should have looked at what you said instead of. Really <laughs> 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 um, what have we got in? Um. So we should have some in the middle of July, maybe towards the end of July, we'll have more Zuri molds in. Um, what else? Oh, mine's gone blank. Well, nice thing. Sorry? 
nice things then. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Um, we are getting Lindy's in. <clears throat> oh. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, we're all good, thanks. How are you? But yeah. Um, I'm not sure what people so, prefer, magicals or the sprays or the embossing powders. I'm <clears> so <throat> happy. Oh, my goodness. I can't tell you how happy I am. <laughs> That's made my Sunday, that has. Oh, yeah, so we are getting a few requests for it and... Um, I have looked and there aren't many places that do it. And if they have, they've got very limited amounts. Mm, so. It's true. It's a nightmare to get hold of them. For, you know, for us in the UK, I really struggle getting hold of them. And I really like them. Did I miss your live? Sarah used them in a live... I missed the live. Are we not friends? <laughs> I do. I haven't got time to do, do my own lives. I do try to pop in people's lives, but oh my God, it's so busy. <laughs> Let me get um, some water. Oh, my brush still I'm just playing with my background at the moment. While my um, main piece for it is drying, I'm just creating my background. So I've just used the um, antiquing gels, Pentart antiquing gels, which I rather really like. So I use the ochre and the ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 patina blue. So I'm just going to dry those off now. Hello, David. How is David? Hi, David. I'm trying to use up some of these old um, paints because they're starting to get a bit. I, yeah, I, I did. I did. I did do stamp area live. I do, I do do, I do do. Yes, I do do. I do do stamp area live. I do I do, 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 do talking today. I don't know if it's allowed. It's just oh, words. I I don't don't know. Know. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds very runny. Very old. Very <clears throat> oh, come on now. Dryer, dry. This poor thing is desperate to die and I won't let it. Oh, I'm liking how this is looking. So I'm just creating the background that I'm going to put my Mariner's Jewel on. <laughs> um, and I said that. <laughs> Did I say it wrong? No, it just looks, it's, it always sounds like you struggle with it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, it is one of those words that does not come. But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm having 
day today. I'm having a, a weird. I think it's because I did, I did live yesterday, and that's a lot of talking for me. Indeed. I'm a, I'm a hermit. I don't exercise my talking very much. It's you know, and I don't talk to my husband very much. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mainly mainly talk to a three year old, so and she she understands pretty much anything I I grunt, so we're good. Oh, I like that. I can't believe you're getting oh, oh you're getting the lovely things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been meaning to get them a while, but um, you know, like I said, when when you when you start a new line in a shop, it's quite hard. I didn't, didn't realize before. But yeah, it's not just a case of right, go in, buy in, done. Mm. Yeah, Why not? and of course, there's shipping, there's the you yeah. know the taxes and all that kind of yeah. good stuff. Oh, that's the boring stuff. We, we don't <laughs> like that bit. No. Talks careful, Rachel. Right, so now I'm going to... This is another thing that was in my little box of goodness from Mad Archers. And it's the, um, the new distress colour, the Uncharted Mariner. And seeing as I'm using... Oh, that word, Mariner's Jewel. Um, I think I'm going to use that as well because it just, it, it should go, shouldn't it? That's what it's Absolutely. Doing. Oh, that's good, Sarah. I'm, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm so sorry about that. It's all good. It's all good. Right, so I'm going to use a brush for this and I'm going to bring it in sides oh yeah I like this and I know it might seem a bit counterproductive putting all this on a paper that's got a beautiful design on it but you will see some of the design coming through it won't be completely lost and it's having that design in the background that really helps build up the depth and the the, the interest in mm, this layer. we love layers ah indeed got our layers so let's get i can't help myself whenever i use distress inks i have to activate them with water because I just, I don't know, for me, it's about using them to their full potential. So I'm just going a bit blobby. Oh, I just conjured up Mr. Blobby in my head then. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Blobby, oh, Mr. <laughs> Blobby. <laughs> you came into my head straight away as well. You're not alone. Yeah, oh, not alone. Oh, my. Oh. I'm a little bit quiet again today because uh, I'll be in bed. It always picks Sundays to work nights. Oh. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> right, that's uh. coming up quite nicely. Now, I feel like we need a little bit more on this layer before we add, I'm going to add some more paper again. Um, and then hopefully soon that resin will have set and we'll be able to I'm just dry in it because obviously it's only cardboard and we have what well, I have just put a load of moisture on it so I'm just drying it I would ordinarily I like leaving things like this to dry on their own because I think you always get a better effect when they dry on their own. But um, 
for the sake of not being here for two days, I'm going to dry it with my dryer. Right, I'm just really wetting down some white paint. You know, some people like colouring books, but I do prefer to paint. <laughs> just yeah. a therapeutic. No, I might as well have done the Love that. Set up that colour now. Let's get some. Oh, I make such a mess. See you later, Jeanette. Bye, Jeanette. Yeah, let's have a little other colours, cream and something maybe, maybe no, creamy just... blue. Watered down Allegro paint that I've used there, and I've got to clean it up because I'm a right clumsy person, and I will end up sticking my hand in any wet paint that's left lying around. So. I can't be trusted, I'm afraid, with anything messy because I will, I will get messy. I'm not totally happy with him, but I think he'll do. Oh, he's fantastic. He's got chipped on the way now. Aww. Yeah, he's kind of finished. <clears throat> Not a, like a like a rock. So that's good news. So I like that. Right, so that's my I'm happy with that as my first layer. But um obviously Oh I'm glad you like him, Sarah. He's on his way to you next time. <laughs> I have just too much room not enough room here for and too much stuff. <laughs> I um, my sister-in-law. I think she's afraid to say that she likes things because she'll end up going home. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, it's coming out. Oh. Oh. Right. I'm gonna just. Poke that because this resin's still soft. I can just make sure I've got the hole that I need, and then I need to put that flat to finish curing. Now I don't know if these smaller pieces will be coming out. I think they might be. And because I've still got the flexibility, because the resin's still quite soft, it means I can cut out any bits I don't want quite easily. So I'm just tidying up. Mm, that's the best thing about that, <clears throat> that one. What's that, the resin? Yeah, so you can cut yeah. it at that half-baked stage, you know. I really I like this resin because it gives me just you know it gives me enough time to pour because I'm just with those quick set resins I do I'm not brilliant with them. Yeah, I'm just wait. you're just gonna make sure with the, with that resin to um, make sure that you've stirred it <clears throat> or given it a good shake before you use it because it does settle at the bottom. Yes. Looking good. Oh, I heard my front door. I hope, really hope. My husband's going to get me a Maltesers. 
because uh, I'm not Maltesers for days. And that is just really sad for me. <laughs> you and your Maltesers. I, yeah, I know I got a problem. I have, I've got a Maltese problem. <laughs> and I need to stop it. And I give myself a really good talking to all the time about it. But, yeah. but you know, it's, I don't know that I don't smoke, I don't drink, you know. I've got to have some sort of vice. Absolutely. Um, just mixing some blue and cream. Just want like um, so. I've used the ocean, the cadence. That was just a normal grey from Stampery, an old ivory. I might need to. I don't have cookie. <laughs> oh, I love cookie. That's my colour. <laughs> no. I'm obsessed with cookie and turquoise. They are my favourites. Nope, that's it. So that's it. Let me. Mm, I don't think that's the colour I wanted. There's my. Oh no, that one's not. Yes, it is. I just chucked um, the resin I have left over into another. You know, I haven't even got a full mould of it, but it'll come in handy for something. So let's stick that one on the side. Hi, Mila. Yeah. See, we all we all understand each other. <laughs> we do. So those are the parts for the Mariner's Jewel. Let me create some space in a minute. What have I just put there? Now I'm gonna get oh this I mean this is another Leanne issue. This Pebio Gesso. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, thank you, my darling. Oh, yeah. I've even con one. convinced the ones in the USA to buy it. <laughs> oh. You got to, you got to. It's just so good. Right, let's get fresh. I don't think that blue was good enough. I don't know. I'm just going to stick some gesso on this now. Oh, this is a nice mould. I wasn't sure if you'd get all the... I don't know why I didn't think it would, because all the Zuri moulds come up beautifully. But when I saw all that little detail on the mould, I did think, oh, how is that going to, how is that going to sort of, um, oh, what's the word, how is that going to show on the cast? Because it seems so fine, but it does. Yeah, the details are superb. Yes, that's very, very true, Dominique. What's that? It's lethal to your bank balance. Yeah. Knowing the honest. <laughs> She's got a shop with far too many nice things in it. Never mind. I do. I feel like you, you're getting me hooked on all these nice things. And then I'm going to have to come back and buy them all from you. And it's just... I'm going to end up selling my furniture, <laughs> fill my craft room up. Well, that's good then, because you'll, you, you'll go and get some old furniture and then you'll do up some, do on them up and then oh, oh, oh. it'll be perpetual. Keep oh, you busy dear. for a long time. Do you know, I can't wait. Um, I got that big decoupage queen paper from you. Yeah. And I've, I'm having to wait because we've got the kids coming round for for dinner tomorrow 
so I can't because I need to take my drawers downstairs and do them on the table to paint them. <laughs> and it's a and British then, thing. What's that? Taking your drawers down on the table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like to take them down on the kitchen table. Oh dear me. Um, <laughs> I just realised what I said. Um, <laughs> Oh, my chest like? of drawers, chest of drawers. Yes, sell the family. <laughs> I would, but no, nobody would buy them. Nobody would buy them. <laughs> I'm stuck with them. Um, so yes, yeah, so they're all coming round for dinner tomorrow. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just chomping at the bit, and I can't wait because once they're gone, that's it. The the drawers, the drawers, the chest of drawers is coming down on the kitchen. <laughs> And the dining room table, and I'm going to paint it. And um, you're never going to trust me, though. You're going to call them that all the time, now. Like, no, I can't know. say that in front of the hand. <laughs> a chest of drawers, a chest of drawers. But I'm really excited to do them because I did, and you'll see tomorrow. Because I, oh, I've had to wait. Oh, I've done some drawers with Andy Skinner papers. Oops, did I tell you that? Yes, I did. But we've had to wait because um, we've all sort of been taking it in turns showing our um, makes with the Andy Skinner papers. And I have been absolutely itching to show everybody the I did some I did some drawers, drawers, chest of drawers, bedside chest of drawers, <coughs> drawers with um, drawers. those papers and oh. I'm so they're they're beside my bed. They they are my bedside drawers because I'm so pleased with them. But I'm really excited to do my um, my big drawers. Can't wait. La, 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 la. Happy little song there. Just this um. Because this, I just this, this gesso is perfect for fine detail, isn't it? It really is. I know if I'd used um, one of the other gessos that I've used in the past, you lose. Would, it. I would have lost the detail. Absolutely, you lose it. Nice magical stuff. Oh, we're not supposed. You're not supposed to sing songs, are you? Because they can get into trouble. I don't think even the bots from YouTube could. Distinguish your small song that one. You're not like me. Okay, what are you trying to say? I have the voice of an angel. <laughs> it's been in a horrific accident, but you know, I try. I try. You do. You do. Absolutely. And you know what they say? God loves a the trier. There we go. Right. That's that one done. Oh, I love this. Right, so now I've painted him just using the dark to pick up bits and pick them all up. Yeah, see, Sarah Lou knew what I was singing. Yes, it's fantastic, Judith. Judith. So yeah, just don't start her on the, uh, on the uh, what do you call it, the starter thing for Mad Arches. <laughs> Oh, I love that song. I missed that. I was going to get a glow stick out today because I've got some glow sticks under my desk, obviously, because um, who doesn't? And I was going to get one out and have a little rave. I don't know what I'm going to do then. 
Lots of browns and blues. Someone's <laughs> cut the orange. Maybe an ochre. I'll do an ochre. I just want natural colours. So your workshop, the mushroom workshop, oh. one, the recent one that I missed because I was being a good good grandmother. Um, I can you can, it's still available, isn't it? You can so you could buy it now and watch it. Yes, but I haven't edited it properly, so yeah, it's not the best. It's better off to wait until the next one. I think I'm doing one at the end of July. Ooh. And I might do um, a more advanced one for the ones that have already done it. Ooh. So it'll be slightly cheaper, slightly shorter, but introduce some different ones. That's a good idea. Hey, Ida. How are you? Just so. Oh yeah, I like that. That's like an ochre colour. Hi Sabine. Hi Sabine. Mm -hmm. Hi Crafty I am. See they heard about the singing. <laughs> Yep, you drew them all in, Rachel, with your singing. I agree. It's a, it's a natural talent that I have, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Indeed. No one's going to dispute it. Okay. Let's go back to this. Now, I'm going to have what on there. Mm. Yes, I am. Okay, so I want to raise my mariner's jewel up. up. Oh, Leanne, that's lovely. Well, it's not quite finished, but it will get there. I don't like that dark. It's going to have to be a bit brighter. There you go, stands out better. Mm. Thank you. As you all know, I do get have a messy, messy deck. I am just cutting some packaging to make myself, um, I don't know, what do you call it? A thing. I'm going to raise, I'm going to raise, um, raise me do for it. So I'm just making myself a cushion for it. That's what I'm making. So let's see. That's gonna right, that's too big. Vastly overestimated the size of that. Gonna sit quite nicely on there, so I'm gonna pop these bits of cardboard on here, and I'm gonna use my um, Pentart Express glue. And if you like this glue, or if you haven't tried it, I would say try it. It's fantastic. Oh, stick um, it in then. And it's way cheaper in Mad Arches than it is anywhere else, but don't tell Liam because she might put the price up. <laughs> I can only sell it for what I get get it for. Well, no different. So I must have got lucky. Than anywhere else and it's fantastic glue. It's it's a really good a really good adhesive. So I'm gonna put that there. 
And now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some of this another piece of this paper and I'll probably put some vintage bits and bobbies on there as well because I can. So I'm gonna rip this because I want torn edge. Oh, and I've managed to say keep the typewriter on the bottom, so that's quite good. I've got that for later. And I think I want a straight edge there. Oh, I think that's wet in there, that's why it's. this around and then I'm going to take it back I'm trying not to stab myself because I really don't like it when I stab myself it's one of the less mm. pleasant things now, where's my walnut ink yarn? Pass, ask me when on sport. Oh, where have I put it? I use it all the time. I still haven't found the dragonfly that went missing in my life yesterday. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I need you to come and um, organise me, and I found it. So I'm happy. Just yeah, I think that's the blind leading the blind there. Oh, no. What I need to do to do it properly is I need to empty my room and redo it because when I put everything in here, you know, I put it in quite quickly. Um, because I was in quite a rush because I was in the middle of doing things. But what I need is I need to have a clear week where I can take everything out and spend the week putting it back in in order and yeah. bits that I don't use and do it properly. But as you know, getting a clear week is like, oh, so hard. Blue twist of colour. Well, I quite like that. Oh, twist of colour, yes. Very nice. It's with my Tim Holt scissors cover. <laughs> that's where it was. Right, so I've aged that a little bit. That's quite nice. I quite like that. That's going to... Yes, that's going to work there like that. Let's get some, I've got some vintage bits. Let me have a look at my vintage bits and bobs. Where am I? Oh, let's get this one down. Oh, without destroying all oh. crafty jenga. Uh-oh. Yeah, scary. Right. Oh, Peacock Splendor. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, Peacock Splendor. Um, Peacock Splendor. That was the one I I did um a card with it out of a uh, party play. Ooh. Yeah. Back in the day, I think it was when I first became, um, so I was about two years ago, when I first um, um, was on the design team. You need to stand out a bit, don't you? Mm, I've, got, I've got lovely bits and bobs, British Railways. Can you believe it? Look at that. Huh. 
I don't think it's going to work on this selfie that I'm doing now. Uh, what have I got here? Hi, Jill. <clears throat> so, Jill Humphreys. Joan. Joan. Hi, Joan. Hi, Joan. And hi, Joe, if you're here too. Oh, didn't know I had those. Wasn't it nice when you find things? Mm. Right. That's why I like these um, Sundays because <clears throat> half the time I end up rifling in my boxes and I forgot all about that. <gasps> oh, what is that? And then more projects come to mind, you know? Nice, isn't it? Well, I found these two little sheets, which I think I'm going to use a bit. So this is somebody's handwriting. Just trying to see what it says. What is something we have? So this is good, isn't it? A dyslexic person trying to translate whatever this is so i'm not sure what that is but we'll have a little bit of it is what we will do because i just like the blue handwriting on it Hi, Michelle. You can guarantee if you pop in in three hours, you know that we're still going live, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry ever about being late. <laughs> and no one is late. We are very casual. <laughs> this is this is aviation. This is something to oh. do with aviation. But um, we love... <laughs> yeah, I've always got a box to rifle through. <laughs> yeah, you've got all the box. Right, I'm going to ink those edges as well because oh, I'm right. obsessed with inking edges. I can't, I just can't help it. Are you an ink edger, edge inker, even? Are you an edge inker? Absolutely. Yeah, some people do and some people don't. And I don't think there's a right or a wrong. But, oh, I just can't. I can't. I've still got the same <clears throat> vintage photo and tea dye stain or whatever it was, distress inker that I bought in 2004. I've no. never re-inked it. No. Never re-inked it. No, I'm I pretty thought... much... Every bit of paper usually that I work with has at least a bit of that on the edge. Well, this is my original. This is um, walnut stain. And I do, I have, I, I re-inked it a fair bit because, well, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I love it. I love it. And every, pretty much everything I do has got a little bit on there somewhere. Yeah, so I like the orange on this. I'm gonna just go in. I didn't like it. No, nope. still don't like it. Right, like that. You know, I keep playing with these colours, trying to get the colour I like, and I still haven't found the colour I like. Oh, that one. What about this? Right, so. There we go. Mm, not that high. Something like, yeah, something like, well, I've just sort of put my papers up. I was a good girl today, Rachel. I've made my dinner before I went live. 
Oh, well done. Yeah. Didn't eat it, but I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> You've thought about it. Mm -hmm. Weirdly, I've got chicken and um, Yorkshire puddings. Oh. Yeah, Why? I don't know. I could have Yorkshire pudding with anything. <laughs> I'm, I love Yorkshire pudding. I could have Yorkshire pudding with Yorkshire pudding. Oops. Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm going to just... I'm gonna say oh, sorry to hear that, Joe. <clears throat> Hope she gets better soon. Oh no! Oh no! I thought I thought you'd be telling us that she was out and all bright and breezy. Mm. Right, crack on there. There we go. Look at that. Right. So, oh, looking more natural now, isn't it? Because then they'll go with some of the the original ones. I might need that paint in a bit. Maybe smaller ones. Yeah, see, so they look more natural now because these won't stand out and they. When I come forward. Well, what I'm going to do to fill it out, I don't know. Something nice. What am I going to do in the background? Shall I do like um, an evening forest with a little bit of light coming through? Oh, no. Yeah. That sounds luscious. Oh, Sarah, yeah, I bet that'd be cool. I, I actually, my, my father-in-law was um, a clock and watch repair vest. Of course, you've seen some of my clocks and watches and things. But he was also a mechanic, so he's got a few uh, drawings too. Can't wait to, like I said, I think there's some up in the attic as well. Oh, I do like that, Rachel. What's that? The typewriter and the magnifying glass and things. Oh, it's that Minte. The Minte collection. It's, and the colours are lovely. They're really nice colours. So I'm going to do the most boring thing you can possibly do on camera. I'm going to eat a Malteser and uh, <laughs> it's out. Mm. Right, how am I going to do this in the background, do you think? Um, we need a dark brown. Well, where's that one gone? I just had another one. I'm sure I did. Yes, I did. Green man. La 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 I don't know what I just heard, but it didn't sound good. <laughs> mm. So, you're going to do another mushroom workshop soon? Yes, and a advanced one as well mm -hmm. and i might even do a bundle where they could buy both of them and it'd be work up cheap you know? oh that's a nice idea i suppose it's about time i got my act together and did a workshop i haven't done one for a while yes yeah i should i should i'll, I'll think of something nice <laughs> 
<laughs> Lauren, why are you laughing at me now? Yes. I'm gonna get organized. We need to get organized. Oh, it's true, Sarah Lou. He's oh I love Maltesers too too much. So don't even get me on the subject because it's quite it must be really boring for other people, but I love Maltesers. I can't help myself. No, I can't sell my husband because he he feeds my habit. I don't know what I'd do if he didn't go down to Tack and go oh, Tesco's to get me own Maltesers. Mm, that'd be a push. Right, let's cut these bad boys out. Mm, 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 mm. Trees or bushes or I don't know, I don't like that. I think I need just a bit of a you know, I don't like something. Paint over it. Oh yes. <laughs> oh I do I cut oh, I'm quite partial to Cadbury's chocolate orange as well. Mm. <laughs> I'm just you know I'm Terry's sure. chocolate for me. Mm. Was it? Oh yeah, sauce. So, yeah, that's the one you get people for Christmas and when they're poorly, isn't it? You've got to have a Terry's chocolate orange in your stocking. I'm just getting some layers down. I'm not really, probably not using this. That's the background. Get a bit of oh, no. colour down. Oh, I see that. Oh, no. no, I'm not going to use that. I can't be bothered to cut that out, to be quite, quite honest about it. Let's get this one. There we are. It gives the impression there's something in the background without without being able to be specific. It's, more it's very abstract. Yeah. Very nice. Gone a bit too far now, so I don't want to... Oh, don't, don't go too far. Yes. No, it does not taste the same, Carol. I got a dairy milk um, something or another the other day, and I couldn't eat it. It was too sweet for me. Um, I like chocolate and sugary things and all the things that you shouldn't like. I, I love them. But, um, but no, you know, you're right, Cadbury's chocolate. Although I can eat their... The bars they do that are filled with all kinds of like jelly sweets and deliciousness. I can deal with those. So that was it. It was a Freddo. I had a Freddo and oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Freddo. I could feel my teeth curling up. It was horrible. Very, very sweet. And I think they've done that to cater to other markets because different countries prefer sort of different levels of sweetness. Right, got a few little bits that I'm going to use as well. I'm just just giving them a little ink. Like oh, Cadbury used to really look after its people, didn't it? It used to. Um, they, there was Cadbury Village and all the rest of it. It was all very nice. Back in the day. Mm. <coughs> 
Oh. I used to work next door to the um, the Frere Roche um, factory in Wales. Oh. Yeah. And I was told that they could eat as many as they wanted off the belt. As they came in, you could, you could eat whatever you wanted. I agree. And you I said, oh, my God, I, I'd end up like a house. And they went like, no, after a week, Leanne, you are sick of it. <laughs> Never to be eaten ever again. <laughs> so that's yeah. why they encourage people to take to eat it on the first week. Mm -hmm. Help yourself. Nobody will, you know, judge you. Eat what you want. And then everybody's sick of it. <laughs> that's the way, isn't it? See, now, I think you should do that with your shop. You should, tell me, you should tell me that I can have anything I want from your shop whenever I want. <laughs> and we'll see how long it takes me to get sick of it. No, I can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be broke. <laughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. It was a, it was a very good try. I thought it was a good pitch. I thought, yeah. It almost, I almost fell for it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like him. He was no. too blue. Too blue. Um, and go. with Carol, they've they've spoiled it, haven't they? They've all changed now. I mean, look at the sizes, the bars. I mean, I couldn't even fit a Mars bar in my mouth as a child. You look at them now, and you're like, really? <laughs> my mouth hasn't got that much bigger. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure. Oh, I have Thanks, Barbara. I'm sure. I have <laughs> I'm just using my ball tool on these little pens because it will just, you know, they won't look like flat things stuck down when I stick them down. Oh, so they, yeah. Just gives them a little bit of. 3D. <laughs> right. What am I going to do next? I've got a bit of my base. Right. I'm going to get. Um, there we are. See, Angela agrees with me. What that's what that's what we used to do as kids. We used to cut cut up Mars bars because they were so big. Mm. My kids like um, I used to make um, <laughs> Mars bar muffins. <laughs> that last tickled me. <laughs> I missed something. I keep forgetting to show what people people's comments, so half the people don't know what we're talking about, which is a bit rude. Sorry. Um, I've just, noticed Sarah as well. If you buy Hershey's chocolate in Florida, it's the same. I'm gonna. And then people wonder why I don't like Hershey's chocolate. It's like, oh, I don't like Hershey's chocolate, but it looks really nice and I want to like it. Yes. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. I just want to leave it now. <laughs> no, that's all right. You can do that. There's no rules. I wonder where my chippies are. Why would it's I I'm scoffing Maltesers. I don't mind what you do. You're making me angry now. Mm. You should go and get your um, chicken dinner. When chicken dinner. Mm. Mm -mm. Right. Just got me my little wax 
box now. And we're going to add some wax. Does anybody remember the Khaled and Bowser um, toffees? Because I um, used to work near there as well. Oh, and the smile used to be <laughs> gorgeous coming from there. Um, I'm a bit quieter. Just a little bit, mine, not too much. You used to work by the toffee place. Um, I found my Lady Vagabond uh, stuff that I've been looking for for ages. Oh, yeah. oh, I've got a prize for that's in the story. Oh. Oh, my Sir Vagabond Alchemy. Oh my gosh. I've been looking for all them. Yeah, I love casual Sundays. <laughs> What's that? The casual Sundays, I find everything that I've been looking for. Wow. We should have more casual Sundays. Casual Sunday, casual fun day. Um. <laughs> right. How much of that am I going to see? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. More teasers. <laughs> oh, the faggot factory. Oh, Sarah. I agree with Angela. <laughs> yeah. They're quite nice to eat as a finished product, but I wouldn't want to wouldn't want to work in a factory that made them. Yeah. And you know, gosh. I've had all kinds of jobs over the years. Mm. I'm just adding different waxes to this. Now I'm I'm going for a bit of a worn, you know, I want it to look a bit worn and um not too new so i'm not putting on a ton of wax i am just being quite um um what's the word gentle with it gentle i'm being gentle with it that's the word that'll do so and i'm also gonna add um some of the colors to the mix too Right, I want a brassy colour with grass. There's copper. Should we do copper? That might be quite nice. Mm, let's do copper and brass because we can. Do, 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 do. Magnificent. Mm, clean up your desk. Yeah, move on. Oh, yes. Right. I'm going to do. Ooh, this copper, it's a very coppery copper, that's for sure. It wasn't oh, that's looking stunning. Quite so. Well, you know, what can I say? It's these gorgeous blooming moulds. And they're so good. I put the screw coming up from the bottom. Yes. 
Is that have I done it right? Yeah, and the nail head, you know, the screw head goes on the top. Yeah, oh good. I'm glad I'm glad my guesstimate was correct. Right, now the other thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna add ooh, some fire gold here and there. Just because it will be a little bit more of an aged an aged appearance, which is what I want. Can you see what I'm doing as you can? <laughs> Why am I Nako? I am I am generally always, but <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> so, no. Am I not covering it well? <laughs> All right, let's. So just add in some of that. See, just add in that red. Just really. Oh, there's a little people at the top. I haven't noticed that. So it's just adding a little bit of age to it. You want that? It's a bit of a now. And I'm going to do the same on all of the more of the layers of this. Just, I might always like to mix my mix my waxes up. You know, same as when I'm painting. I don't like to use just one one colour. I always like to mix mix it up because I just think it adds something extra. Yeah, a bit like me and my paint. Yeah, you got to add a bit more. Got to give it a bit more. It's no, more than you break as well. Right, so we have, I'm kind of sick of it silver in this as well, actually. Like, a bit more. A bit more. Yeah. Oh, okay. so I like how that looks. So let's get this lot. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, let's put them up there. And I can screw my little head in. Mm. Are we doing this where you can see it? Hey, Perry. Mariner's Jewel. Hello, do you have the Mariner's Jewel? <laughs> no, it's just the way I walk. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I've had a few Maltesers now, so. Getting giddy on the Maltesers. So I'm going to put that on them and then we're going to add a few more bits oh. and boxes let me get a bit of my <clears throat> favorite i just I know, really I'm struggling with the doors i like a bit of what's that i'm struggling with this and i didn't have that much trouble with the drawers or the bigger pieces it just must be these little pieces well Faffy little bits, isn't it? Faffy mm -hmm. little bits. Just 
you know, I like that. Just solving a little, little play to decide if I'm happy. No, I don't like that there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's a few places I've worked, the smell has put me off. <laughs> oh, it's not good, is it? No. This moves. Like working in a laundry with it and you wasn't provided with gloves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't my uh... mm -hmm. I like the idea of that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Probably people out there are probably looking at us and thinking. You know, that when we do a project, we can just do uh, whip, 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 whip. Yeah, that's and how it goes. Thought and preparation and movement and, and oh. you love something, then you don't like something, and then you change it, and then you add something. <laughs> oh, I'm always tearing things apart and putting them back together again. I do several several versions of a thing before I decide that it's that's the thing yeah they might get on my nerves after a while so we'll see how it goes I don't know if you need my go in the front there because he's quite big I haven't finished him yet um, so these are the ones that I'll teach you how to make Oh, they're nice. <clears throat> yeah, so I want that as the background. So I need something for these to sit on, like um, like a log or... Moss. Hello, Mia. Oh, they, oh, you're at in. Okay. Not idiot. We get um something for a bit of height <clears throat> to create that log type of look. Let me go and see if there's any loo rolls available. I got some moths, that's, that's, that's next, but I need the structure. There we go. I'm just adding these bits and then I'm going to have to add some more bits because it needs a little bit of something more, yeah. But, um, we shall crack on with this. And I'm just using some um, 3D gel. That's what I'm using to give these just a little bit of height. Ooh, get under there, behave yourself. That's it. So I am happy with that. Now, next bits to go on here. 
Let's have a think. Oh, I like it so far. Hey, Peggy. Now, I wanted to put what the seal on here. That's what I need to put on. And I'm going to put it on. I am going to, this is a little scrap of paper that um, I'm just use. I'm just going to pin this up so I can stick it on and then I'm going to put a little wax seal on here because that just feels like the right thing to put on here. So let's just slide. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Margaret. No. Wax seal time. Now, I'm going to actually do my wax seal on something else that I can peel off and then sort of do it independently if that makes sense so let me get a bit of something that it will be able to peel off from hopefully that will be okay um let me get off my little bit and bobs is out I'm very fond of Scottish accent today. Oh, now. Oh, ho, 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 I say. Right. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm going to use that seal. It's quite a big one, but I like it. Yeah. Well, I was just in my drawer getting my wax seal bits out and I came across this little compass that I made um, a little while ago and I thought, gosh, that's going to work perfectly and it is. So I'm going to stick that on there as well. So I need a little bit of a um, little bit of three D again. So let's get that on there. Let's get that on there. Oh yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is taking shape rather nicely. Now, let's make a seal. So I've got a bit of um, release. You can use, um, the best thing to use is like the back of um, something adhesive, the, the paper that you get off the back of that. That's the best thing to use. But I think it'll be all right on here. So I'm just going to light my candle. Okay, and then I'm going to get some of my little wax jobbies. Now I want my little spoon that I heat my wax with, and I like to put a little bit of a mixture in. So I'll put a 
this is quite a big one I'm doing, so it's going to need a fair amount of wax. Um, oh, maybe as well. So I've got a little mix going on in there, and I'm just melt that wax. Hey, Gabita. Hi, <clears throat> must you come in? in? I was um, got a little bit there. Who's in? Who are, who's who's in? Gabita. Oh, I didn't see him. Is cube? Cubita. Cubita. Oh, my candle's gone out. I think there's a bit of a funny whip on that one. But as it happens, I've got another one here. So I should just light this one because I know it will work better. So just melting that wax so that I can make it. Sorry, I've got my fan on, that's what it is. I've got my fan on because otherwise I absolutely cook in my little craft room because it is a really little room. It's not even a, a single bedroom. It's like a little, like a little box room. But, um, I got promoted because I used to be in the dining room and everybody got really bored and never been able to access the table. So I got promoted to this little cupboard upstairs. I think it used to be a bathroom at some point, but they they moved the bathroom into a bigger room and this little room was left. So, you know, you wouldn't fit a single bed in here, but, um, but it's handy for me to have a little cubby hole. Oh, thank you, Sue. We are getting there. I'm just, like I said, just melting this wax now to make a seal. And I'm just protecting the candle from my um, fan. There's quite a little bit of wax in there, so it's taking a little while, but it'll be done soon enough. Mm, does that look like a log? Yeah, I think it does, doesn't it? Oh, it does look like a log. Oh, That's the easiest log I've ever seen. A what? The loggiest log I've ever seen. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I could have done it with a whole roll. Oh no, why do that? Just wondering whether to make it smaller. Oh, come on. Come along, Wax. Come along. Oh, thank you. I'm going to have to grab a Malteser. Although I don't take my underwear because the fan will blow the candle out. Come on. Oh, what did I say about cutting things out being the most boring thing to have on camera? Watching somebody melt wax, that's got to be quite up there, I reckon. <laughs> of a loggiest log in the log factory, yeah. Oh, there you are, look, see? It's not just me. Maybe that's it. Maybe I am Baldrick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I'm more like cool. Nanny. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't want to be Nanny. I don't know. I used to love Blackadder. It's brilliant. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. So funny. I need that small now. Right, we're getting the it's nearly all melted. I did put quite a bit of wax in here, so it is yeah, time. 
obviously I'm going to paint it. I'm just wondering whether to give it some structure. This will sit. Um, mm -hmm. You can see it on the log. Mm -hmm. The last little bit is melting. Not liking it. Needs to go small. Have you been watching Stranger Things, Leanne? Sorry? Have you been watching Stranger Things? Mm -hmm. I watched the first two series and then I kind of... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Not that I can do. I'm going to give any spoilers, don't worry. I've only, I haven't even finished watching the first episode of the new series right so where's my seal i got my seal and so i'm just pouring my wax out now wiggly wiggly woo. go on away with you and there we go so i'll just leave that for a minute now just to set in there oh that was warm i wonder if it's because i've just been holding it over a candle oh dear rachel i don't scare myself honestly good job i grabbed the hot end of my spoon wow yeah because i'm silly it's like and i was surprised it was hot <laughs> <laughs> Dear me, frighten myself, frighten myself. Uh. Oh, Handmaid's Tale. Do you know, I watched the film of Handmaid's Tale, but I haven't watched the series, and I think I need to. Sorry, I'm, you know what I'm doing, so I'm not even going to tell you. I am here. I'm just rooting around in my box of bits. That's what I was after, but I found something I like even more. Right. I rooted around in my box of bits and I found some things that I think might look nice on me. Dufa. All right, that's nearly. Might be. Yep, yeah, there we go. So I've got my, um, my seal that I like. Now I need a little bit of um, gold wax to highlight that. I do love a seal. I've got to say, I am a big, big fan. Oh, get up there. Go on, away with you. Now, and so now, I can peel this off here. There we go. And I've got it to, I can stick it on whatever I want. And that's, that's a handy dandy thing, because I don't mind doing seals directly onto things. But the problem is, if it doesn't go quite how you like it, you are pretty stuck with it. Which is um, never exactly a good thing. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just play with this a minute. Now, these little elements here are from the Lady Vagabond collection. Okay, so what about if I do 
Are they Just die cuts? No, these are um, these are molds. Oh, the molds. They're molds. They're painted molds. Yeah, they're always handy, especially you know coming up to um, you know the 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 scenes of uh, the sea. Not always this time of year, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. The scenes you know. of the sea. You know, like beach themes and nautical themes. And... Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Peggy. Yes, they Hello. should be that, Sarah Lou. I like that. Did you have you seen that? Sarah Lou's got an alternative name for Sundays. <laughs> Wing it? <laughs> no, rooting, rooting, rooting in, in the box. box. <laughs> right, I quite like that. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done, I feel. I feel I'm, I'm getting close to that. That point now. <clears throat> Make it more comfortable, I think. There we go. Yeah. If you're on Facebook and you haven't allowed Facebook to use your name on DreamYard, just click the link and then we can see who you are. We like to say hello. So we're saying hello, but we can't see your name. <laughs> it is nice. Is there a code this week? Um, they can use Lee 10. That's always open to mm -hmm. our viewers. Very nice. Oh, Maltesers, sorry. And if anybody is looking for a bargain, all the Lady Vagabond um, items are very much reduced. Oh, are they? Mm hmm. Okay. Anything wrong with them? But I have a lot of stock. Well, Grab it while you can, isn't it? Because I don't think they'll be redoing them. No. So they're very much something that's worth, if you like it, get it. Okay. I'm just going to say, I only just put that down and it's disappeared. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't completely finished, but I'm ready whenever you are, Rachel, because this is going to um, obviously take time to dry, and then I'm going to need to paint it and put it on, and then I'm. Yeah. And I'm still debating on these chippies. Who knows? It's very I don't nice quite know. Hey, Terry. Stick that one. I haven't got any pin flare glue, glue gel, but I do have a collar gel. Mm -hmm. The blue one. I think it's just as good, if not better. It is. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It is. I, the only reason I'm not using that one is because I've got this one here instead. Yeah. I'm the same. I I um, bulk bought it. Yeah. Sorry, I need to add another little piece of paper there oh, at the top. I think I think I'm done for, for for now. I am nearly done. I am all but a piece of paper away. Not posted yet, Linda. You got time. 
I'll shove it all in one box. <laughs> Post it in the morning. Right. I have finished. Ta da. Ooh. I do like that. That's very nice. Very happy with it's that. Not, it's not. Not quite rusty, but it's that um, tarnished look. Yes, that's what Love I was it. going for. That's what I was going for. So, yeah, Mariner's Jewel. And, um, <laughs> Judith was wondering where I was going with the Luro. <laughs> it's a bit of support, yeah. I don't know if it will dry hard enough for me to take the Luro out. I should imagine it will. I made journals out of toilet rolls um, a year or two ago. Thanks, Terry. Well. Oh. Yes. So I just for you to know, Sue, I have posted something this week to, um, to Canada. Ooh. Yeah, so Canada is now on on the shipping list. Oh. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Sarah. Well, yeah. I know people so. are very excited about that. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Because I, I know people are struggling to get stuff out in Canada from, from the US for some reason, but it's very cheap for me to send stuff. Well, How bizarre. Do you want to do a close up, Rachel? And I'll, um... I'd love to, but I don't know how. No, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, you I'll can do it. I can. There you go. Well, the news be a bit wonky. Am I a bit wonky? Which way do I need to go? I don't know. No, it's me. It's me. It must be me. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. Um. Oh, thank oh, you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you. Yeah, Joan, I used um, the plus. What's the one I did the moon with? So, like I said, it's like a rock. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will dry really hard. Margaret says she loves it, Rachel. Mm. And Joan loves it. Yes, it's a similar type, yes. I've still got more pieces left. Um, so it cost me, I don't know if you know about the Zuri graveyard mould. I mean, it's a big mould and it was about um, three quarters of a kilo and it cost £6.50. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, I don't know how long it will take to get there, but we shall soon see, and I shall let you know. I did send something to the US on Tuesday, and it told me it was there Friday morning. That's outrageous. It is, because I've got one, one customer who uh, um, has got a parcel stuck in the post somewhere, because I've got um, obviously a ticket to say it was posted so it it's in the post office's hands so it's you know it's a bit embarrassing take two days to get to the US and then take a week to get to somebody in the UK <laughs> it's, I think it's only ever happened once before so we'll see well that was quicker than my post my things take forever to get to me oh thank you very much Marcia yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a little bit of a mushroom nut. So Mad Arches actually start is 
um, mushroom in Welsh. Well, madarch or madarch is mushroom in Welsh. So madarch is mushrooms. <laughs> We're all a bit mushy. <laughs> Let me do, uh, I'll do a close up of myself now. So, how can I do that? Uh, get closer. So, I've done a few, you know, of these. Um, they usually like, um, they look like wood rings, these fungi. And then I've done a little, I love little that. stamp around. And then we'll, once it's all dry, I'll stick it all together and just paint the log. Just a normal log colour. <laughs> Still don't know about these. We'll see. Mm. And that's it. I love them. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining. Mm. We haven't even got the mad arches. Banner or anything, that we create a banner. Scroll across the bottom. Um, no, is that a ticker? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ten percent off. There you go. Oh, very nice. Very quick. I don't like it going backwards, though. How do you do that? <laughs> Let it make it go the other way. It looks weird going the other way, don't you think? <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us, and we shall see you probably next week. Mm. See you later. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.